On today's show, Toyota's design chief says mass market cars will be eliminated in the future. Ricardo develops an engine with more thermal efficiency than the Prius, and we've got more feedback from Sandy Monroe about the Tesla Model 3. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. Autonomy and ride-sharing have the potential to completely change how people use and own cars. And Toyota's new design chief has an interesting prediction for the future. Reuters reports that Simon Humphreys believes there won't be a need for mass-market cars because most vehicles will shift towards electric shuttle pods, like its e concept, which will eliminate the need for people to drive themselves around. While that doesn't sound very appealing, Humphreys also predicts that performance cars could still survive for those of us who like to drive. But what do you think? Can you see mass market cars being eliminated? We'd like to know what you think. You know, we were recently told the most thermally efficient gas engine you can get today is in the Toyota Prius at 41%. Meaning that if the fuel coming in has 100% thermal energy, the Prius transforms 41% into useful work energy. The remaining 59% is mostly lost as waste heat. The best diesel engines are somewhere in the range of 45%. But cryopower is a new kind of split cycle, dual fuel diesel engine in development that could go as high as 60% thermal efficiency. As Simon Brewster, CEO of Dolphin N2, the company that was formed by supplier Ricardo to further develop the engine, He tells Autoline, split cycle takes the normal four strokes and splits it between two cylinders. The suck squeeze happens in the compression cylinder, while the bang blow takes place in the combustion cylinder. So air comes into the engine, is compressed in the compression cylinder, it's then cooled with a shot of liquid nitrogen. From there it travels into a heat exchanger before it's drawn into the combustion cylinder. Not only is the liquid nitrogen used as a coolant, but also supplements some of the diesel fuel. Then the whole mixture is combusted and sent out through the heat exchanger, where it gives some of its heat energy, which would normally be wasted, back to the cool air mixture before the exhaust hits the turbocharger. Dolphin N2 says the engine has demonstrated the potential to reduce fuel costs by 20% and fuel usage by 30%, compared to today's heavy-duty diesel engines. Meaning, you'll likely never see an engine like this in your car. But it does make a whole lot of sense for long-haul trucks, where a dual fuel system would not be as big of a deal. The engine also drastically reduces soot and NOx emissions, one of the biggest complaints with diesel engines today. Dolphin N2 is currently working to develop the engine, but hopes to get further investment to take it to the next stages. Speaking of engines, we'll take a look at the new 48-volt mild hybrid system in the Ram 1500 right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. The 2019 Ram 1500 is available with a number of new features, but one of the most surprising additions is its 48-volt mild hybrid system. On AutoLine this week, Jim Morrison, the head of the Ram brand, discussed the benefits of the new system. Uh, V6 is standard with the eTorque technology. The uh, Hemi V8 is going to be uh, available either way. So you can get... for, the, for the audience, explain a little bit how that all works. So the, um, the mild uh, hybrid technology, we're calling it eTorque, uh, basically um, takes a 48, volt va- a 48 volt battery uh, pack and applies um, electric uh, torque to the engine. So the regular Hemi has 395 horsepower, 410 torque, and it now adds another 130 uh, pound-feet of torque. Which is a lot. It is, and you can feel it in the truck. When you put your foot on the gas, it really, uh, you can feel it in the seat, you can feel the truck pulling. And yet at the same time, it's going to improve fuel economy. Yes, we're gonna get a a double-digit improvement in fuel economy with that technology. So, um, you know, we talk to our customers and what do do they want? They always want 
pickup truck buyers always want more power. So we have to give them that first, but delivering that with great fuel economy gains is really nice too. So, you know, double digit fuel economy, that's, uh, that's really good stuff. And so you said it's going to be standard on the V6 yes. and available on the V8 Hemi. Correct. And uh, can you talk pricing or anything? What kind of I an upcharge? Yeah, yet. too early yet, in, yet, in yes. the program. Uh, yeah, we're going to announce our pricing in March. Um, but uh, it's going to be right there so that the customer that is either doing the math on fuel economy or you know, willing to pay for a little more performance, they'll be w well in the wheelhouse of uh, what they think they're going to uh, want to pay for. So you're calling it e-torque. Are yes. you going to use the word hybrid at all or you want to shun that word for truck buyers? Well, you know, the truck buyers do have a little bit of a different view of what hybrids are and, and it really does uh, blend back into they want power first, right? So. Um, you know, the, the end of the day, uh, it, we're very proud of the fact that it is mild hybrid technology, but it's going to be labeled as e-torque for sure. Gotcha. And for more about the all-new Ram, you can watch that entire show right now on our website, Autoline.tv, where you can find it on our YouTube channel. Coming up next, more feedback from Monroe & Associates about its look into the Tesla Model 3. <laughs> All week long, we've been showing you the latest that Monroe & Associates has found in its benchmarking study on Tesla's Model 3, and here is the final installment. So overall, you guys like the car? I like the drive. I did. Um, I gave it pretty high marks. Um, I, uh, I know that nothing counts until, you know, until we see um, all, the, uh, all the profile tests and things like that, but for me, this was a this was a pretty good experience. So I'm pretty hopeful that, uh, or I'm pretty confident that we're gonna see um, a pretty good, uh, a pretty good uh, outcome on ride and drive. So the outside, uh, the skins and whatnot, not so good, but the uh, performance characteristics of the actual drive, mm, pretty impressive. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this look into Tesla's Model 3. The entire video will be available later to watch on our YouTube channel. And when Monroe & Associates finishes its complete teardown of the car, we'll let you know what they found. But that wraps up today's report. Thank you for watching and have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.